as you come back down, just trust your first impression. What's the first thing that you see? Look all around you, use all of your senses. Sometimes, like when you walk into a dark room, your body could sense that there's someone there, that there's something there. I want you to go into that mode where you're just using your other senses to feel around. And as you do, you may be able to sense that someone is there. You may be able to sense whether you're inside or outside. What do you sense while you're there? I think I'm in a dark room. Mm-hmm. I'm in a dark room. Very good. So I want you to use whatever tools you can to illuminate this space. You can pretend that you have a bed, a flashlight and turn the flashlight on and illuminate the room. You could turn on a light switch. I'm in a bedroom. I'm in a bedroom. Very good. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I see curtains, I guess. Mm -hmm. I see curtains. I don't, I think it's a little girl's room. A little girl's room, very good. Can you sense anything from this room? Any furniture or anything that would pop out at you? Mm, there's a, I think there's a bed there that's like white painted. Mm hmm. What else do you sense in this room? Mm. It's empty. Mm -hmm. I don't feel anybody there. Mm -hmm. Now, as you're focusing around in this room, do you feel that you're looking at this room from a small perspective or a large perspective? How do you mm. feel in this place? Do you feel that you have a body there? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking at this room, are you down by the floor or are you up by the ceiling? Up. Mm -hmm. So if you're up by the ceiling, that means that your spirit, you can move around. So let's do some exploring. Let's see what you're doing in this place. I feel really light. Mm-hmm. Really, really light. Mm -hmm. Focus in on yourself and see if you have a light body. If you can, if you get some sort of sense from it, if you're male or female energy. Mm. I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you can move? Mm. Or you do feel that you're part of this room? I almost feel like something's sucking me down into the room. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's find out what's sucking you down into the room. I want you to change your perspective and be able to know what it is. Tell me what's happening. Everything just went dark. Mm -hmm. Now I feel, instead of feeling light, I feel really heavy. Okay, very good. So tell me what changed. Whatever it was that was sucking me down into the room, I think I am. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look and see what you are now. Focus on yourself and see where you are. 
I think I'm under something. Mm-hmm. Like I'm closed in. Tell me more. I feel like I'm in a coffin or a box or something. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. So let's explore this. I'm right there with you. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's just just use our our uh, imagination and use that part of you to explore. Okay. Use your curiosity see where it is. Where do you feel that you are? I'm in some kind of a building. Mm-hmm. It's really quiet in here and I'm scared. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to be alive. So do you feel like you're male or female? I want to say male. Mm-hmm. Very good. And I think my name is John. Okay. If I call you John, does that resonate with you? Yes. All right. I'll call you John then. Okay. John, how old are you? I'm 35. Mm-hmm. So let's find out, John, where it is that you are. How did you get yourself into this place? Use all of your senses, John, and tell me where you are. Some family member put me here. Mm-hmm. A male family family member. Mm-hmm. John, where are you? I'm in a box. I'm in a coffin or something. Mm-hmm. I can't breathe. I'm right with you, John. Tell me what happened. My chest is so heavy. Mm -hmm. It's too dark in here. It's heavy. Mm -hmm. Can you hear anything around you, outside of you? No, it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. They left me here to die. They left you here to die. Yeah. Who left you there, John? I don't remember. I don't know his name. All right. We're going to close this scene now, John. We'll come back in a minute. Close the scene, and I want you to go back in time to find out how you got there. Let's travel back to a significant time to get the story. Be there now. Where are you? I think I'm in a barn or something. Mm-hmm. I'm in a barn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look around. I see horses. Mm-hmm. There's a bale of hay. And there's like a lantern hanging on the wall. What do you do there, John? I take care of the horses. In what capacity? I shoe them. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a blacksmith. Okay, you work there? I believe so. I think that this is not my place, but I I work here in the Mm -hmm. barn. Mm -hmm. Do you like what you do? Yeah, I love the horses. Mm Mm-hmm. Who do you work for? Stuart. Mm -hmm. How do you get along with Stuart? He's okay. Tell me more about yourself, John. This is what I do. I love it. Mm -hmm. My wife doesn't like me to do it, though. Mm -hmm. What what, was your wife's name? Jan. Mm Mm-hmm. Why doesn't she like what you do? I'm never home. Mm. Do you have any children? Two. All right, so let's see what happens in this scene. 
I want you to go to the next scene in that lifetime when something important is happening. A defining moment. I'm signing on some kind of papers or mm -hmm. something. All right. Tell me more about them. I don't know what the papers are for. Is some kind of contract or something? Mm -hmm. Who's giving you these papers? Stuart is. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with Stuart telepathically. And let's find out what these papers are all about. Connect with him now. He bought my farm or something? Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? I'm upset. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's everything I have. And now he's going to have it. I don't have nothing. I can't take care of my family. So tell me what happens after this. I'm angry at him. We get into a argument. He pushes me, I push him back. He's yelling and screaming at me. I'm yelling and screaming at him. I fell down. And I banged my head, I think. Because there's blood all over the floor. And my head hurts. He's kicking me. That's not nice. That's mean. Mm -hmm. And he's dragging me. I don't know where he's dragging me. I'm trying to keep him from dragging me. But he's stronger than I am. He's bigger than me. Why does he take you? I feel like he's dragging me out behind the barn. He's beating me up. I feel helpless. My head is hurting me so bad. I'm in some kind of a box or something. Mm -hmm. He just put me in something. I think I'm going to die in here. It's like he's locking it, like latches or something. I can hear latches. Like the old-fashioned latches. Like really thick metal. Mm -hmm. I can hear it. I'm trying to tell him to let me out of here. It's <coughs> ridiculous. Can't treat me this way. He's evil. John, what happens next? I can't breathe. My head hurts. I hurt all over. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to miss my kids and my wife. This is not how I wanted to die. Imagine. Nobody's coming, nobody's coming. Nobody's coming to get me. How are you feeling, John? I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I'm going to die this way. I'm too young to die this way. And now my family has nowhere to live because I just sold the farm. Okay, John, I want you to move forward onto the last breath that you take. And go ahead and transition out of that body. <clears throat> you tell me what happens next. Where do you go? I'm going up. Mm -hmm. Use a beautiful light. I'm going to go to that pretty light. Mm -hmm. And tell me when you get there. Is there anybody there to meet you? <laughs> My grandmother. Mm -hmm. What did your grandmother tell you? She missed me. Mm -hmm. She's glad to see me. She puts her arms around me. Mm -hmm. So now, John, now that you're embraced by your grandmother, I want you to look back at that life that you just lived. Every life has a purpose and there are lessons. Look back at that life and see what was the purpose of that lifetime. I was a provider. Mm -hmm. I was a protector, but I didn't do a good job protecting. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn? I should have did a better job protecting. I should have... I should have really read the contract mm -hmm. better. I shouldn't have put my myself in a position to have to sell the farm. Mm -hmm. And I let my anger get the best of me. Mm -hmm. So John, as you look at your lifetime, look at the lifetime of Joyce. And tell me how you're influencing her. I keep her from... Well, I keep her from doing things that she wants to do because I make her think she's not good enough. Mm -hmm. Is that true? <laughs> Tell her the truth? Yeah. Is Joyce good enough? No, she's not good enough. Mm -hmm. Why is that? She doesn't try. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her about that? If she's got to try. Mm -hmm. Is she picking up any fears from you? Maybe. Mm hmm Then she may get buried alive. Yeah, I make her feel that way. Mm hmm She feels like she's getting buried a lot. Mm hmm <laughs> Is that why she sleeps in the way she does? Like she's in a coffin? Might be. Mm hmm Now, John, in that lifetime, you ended up that life with Stuart. Who in this lifetime is she? Is Stuart? I don't know. 
Is there anybody else? Is he come? Has he come at all? To be with her. To test her. Stuart? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Okay. John, I think that we need to work on you. Because it seems like you went to the other side. With all that anger inside of you. Are you mm. ready to release that anger, John? I guess so. Mm-hmm. John, do you, are you influencing Joyce with her headaches? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. She hates it. Mm-hmm. Are we ready to let go of those headaches? These aren't her headaches, are they? They're yours. Mm-hmm. Can we take those headaches away now? Mm. I guess so. All right, so I'm going to put my hand on her forehead. And we're going to take all those headaches away. We don't need those anymore. What else have you caused her? Mm, I think that's about it. All right. So, John, before you go, we need to make amends with Stuart. Because having you in this, living in this fear from your vantage point isn't going to help anybody. Mm. Everyone makes mistakes. And in times of of losing your, your mind, you hurt, hurt other people. Can you see where maybe sometimes you didn't do your best either in your lifetime? Mm-hmm. Can you forgive Stuart for having done this to you? Yes. All right. So I'm going to put my hand on your chest, John, and I want you to just give me all of that anger that you had. Give it to me. And tell me when to take it off. Oh, we're going to take that anger. So, John, what would you like me to put in instead? Security. Mm -hmm. Let's put a lot of security in there, John. Let's seal that. What else would you like to put in there? Self-worth. Mm-hmm. Let's put lots of self-worth in there and let's seal that too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Love. Let's put lots of love, lots of love. Forgiveness. Mm-hmm. And can you forgive yourself for being a part of this? Because nothing could happen to you unless you agreed to it and on some sort of level. Mm-hmm. Can you forgive yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that we have all that love and forgiveness, security, how do you feel now? I feel lighter. Mm -hmm. So now, as you feel lighter, I want you to look into time, backwards and forwards, all the different aspects of you, and see how that has affected all of them. <clears throat> now that you've eliminated that anger and that fear, take a look at Joyce's life. See how that has helped her. She'll be okay now. Very good, very good. Do you have any words for her now before you continue yeah. on your journey? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. so take a deep breath in. Joyce, what would you like to tell John about his life and his influence on you? I understand. Mm -hmm. I forgive you. Very good. Thank you very much. John, may the universe accompany you. The light of the universe. Thank you very much. So now I want, I want you to now 
drift through time and space again. What you feel in yourself drifting and floating through time and space. Drifting and floating to another lifetime that's affecting you now. Tell me when you get there. What do you see? I'm on a bike. I'm on a bike. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. There's like lots of pastures on both sides of me. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Tell me more about yourself. Are you male or female? I'm female. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Mm. Like 12. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you're going. I'm just going for a bike ride. Mm-hmm. Tell me everything you see along the way. Okay. Going for a bike ride and there's like little fences along the sides of the road. The, the road is, seems like it's a dirt road. And there's like mm, stones and stuff that I'm, I'm riding on and it's Getting a little bumpy. Mm -hmm. A little rough, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, ha I have a dress on. Mm -hmm. What's your dress look like? Mm -hmm. It's long. Mm -hmm. I have like a apron on and like a petticoat. Mm -hmm. A little lace collar and long sleeves. And there's a basket in the front of my bike. What are you wearing on your feet? Mm, they're boots. They button up. What do they call you there? Lizzie. Mm -hmm. If I would call you Lizzie, does that resonate with you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Lizzie, where are you going now? I'm going home. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your home looks like. Mm, I see a porch mm -hmm. and it's a, like a older house. It's white. It has shutters. Um, it's kind of good size. Mm. I think I'm in Kansas or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. It seems like I'm out in the country. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. There's um, a lot of windows in the house, and you can see the curtain blowing back and forth and back and forth. And my mom is on the. She's on the porch. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next. Mm. Where do you go? I just threw my bike down to the side. I don't know why I didn't prop it up nicely, but I threw it down. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about something. Let's see what it is. I just found like a cave or some sort of a... I was exploring. Mm -hmm. And I was all excited. I needed to tell my brother about it. What's your brother's name? Oliver. Mm-hmm. Is he older than you? Mm, uh, no, I think he's younger than me. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens when you tell your brother. He wants to go see it, too. Mm hmm But we're going to get in trouble if we go. Why is that? Well, it's dinner time. We have to sit down and eat. Mm -hmm. Mom made this big dinner, so we gotta we have to eat it first. Mm -hmm. And then there won't be enough light for us to go. I don't know if it's a cave or some. I found something. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So let's go to that place that you found. I want you to advance that scene and see what happens. Where are you? It's weird. It's like a little barrow or something. There's mm -hmm. grass all around. It's almost like a fairy house or something. Mm -hmm. But it's just big enough for us to climb in and hide. Mm -hmm. How does it feel in there? Safe. Mm -hmm. Who do you think built this place? I don't know. I think it's been here a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. I want you to advance your life to another significant event. Something that's affecting the life of Joyce now. I'm sitting on a bed. Mm -hmm. There's a full length mirror in front of me. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm just staring at the mirror. How old are you? I want to say like 15, mm -hmm. 16. What do you see in the mirror? I don't like what I see in the mirror. Mm -hmm. What do you see? A really skinny, bony girl. Why do you feel that you're so skinny and bony? What happened? I think I'm sick. Mm -hmm. I think I'm sick with some something. You'll know what it is. I, I think it's leukemia or something like that. Mm -hmm. Blood, something to do with my blood. Mm -hmm. My, I have huge bags under my eyes and black circles. What happens next, Lizzie? Hmm. I don't know, I can't see anything anymore. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to the last day of that life. The life of Lizzie. Okay. And tell me where you are. In a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. Everything's really old looking. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? This is it. Mm -hmm. Dying. Are you 15? Yeah, I'm young. I'm like a teenager. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind, Lizzie? I didn't get a chance to live this life. I'm going to miss my brother. So I want you to take your last breath and transition out of that body and as you look back at that that whole life tell me what was the purpose of living that life I was there for my brother mm -hmm. 
What lessons did you learn? Life is short. Mm -hmm. You have to enjoy it while you're there because you just don't know when you're going to go. Mm -hmm. And is your brother Lizzie anybody in the life of Joyce now? Matthew. Mm -hmm. And how is it, Lizzie, that you're affecting Joyce because of your illness? I make her tired, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to do with her sleep? No. Mm -hmm. Any reason why she can't lose weight now? No. Okay. Are there any words of wisdom that you would like to give Joyce, being that she's another aspect of you? Enjoy every single moment you have. It's fleeting. Time is precious. Is there anything that Joyce would like to tell Lizzie? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Lizzie. May the light of the universe accompany you. And I'd like for you to drift and float to another time, another place, a lifetime that will help you answer the questions that you brought today. Just drift and float. Be there now. See if it's daytime or nighttime. Mm, it's daytime. Mm hmm where are you? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. It's rocking back and forth. Is this a small boat or a large boat? It's a large boat. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? I don't know. Are you male or female? I'm male. Mm-hmm. What kind of a boat is this? Is this a commercial boat or is it a passenger boat? It's like a ferry boat. A ferry boat. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or are other people there? Mm. There okay. seems to be other people, but they're on the other side of the boat. Okay. Tell me more about what's happening here. Mm. I got some little boy with me. A little boy is with you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is this little boy? I don't know if he's my son. How does he feel? Familiar. Mm-hmm. Good. So tell me the story of this place. Where, why are you on this boat? That's the weirdest thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm on this boat. So let's see where you go. I want you to advance. Advance the scene. You can go quickly. And you can see where the destination is. See what happens. What happens after this? Well, I'm on the dock now. Mm -hmm. I have a little boy by the hand. I don't feel like he's my son. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's somebody else's son. Okay. And I'm going to meet his mother 
to bring him to her. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why I have him with me. So you can advance it and see what goes on next. I don't know. I can't. Mm -hmm. Close that scene and go to another scene in that same lifetime. I'm in a bar. Mm-hmm. Very good. Tell me more. I'm just sitting there having a drink. I'm upset about something. Mm-hmm. Allow yourself to find out what you're upset about. I think my wife cheated on me. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I think her name is Susan. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Ted. Does that resonate with you, Ted? Theodore, some mm -hmm. Theodore, they but they call me Ted. Mm-hmm. How old are you, Ted? Forty. Mm-hmm. So what happens now? Now that Susan cheated on you? I don't know what to do. I'm very angry at her. I want you to move the scene along and see what happens after this. Mm. I'm in a car driving. I shouldn't be driving. Oh my God. What happened? The car hit a tree. But that's not all. I think I hit somebody. What happened? I think somebody was walking on the side of the road and I swerved, but I hit them mm -hmm. and the tree. I don't think, I don't know if they're alive. How do you feel? I'm, I feel horrible. What happened to your body? I think I'm stuck in the car. Mm -hmm. I feel like my legs are trapped. It's, my legs are really heavy. I'm worried about that person though. I don't know who they were. I think I hit somebody. I think they're underneath my car. I, I have to get out and make sure they're okay. I can't believe What happens next, Ted? Someone's pulling me out of the car. I think my leg is broken. I'm asking them if there's somebody underneath the car and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to tell, tell them that I hit somebody. It was, they were, 
It was a small person. I don't know if it was a child or something, but they can't see them underneath the car. But I just know I hit somebody. They need to look, look. There is somebody there. It's a little girl. She's not breathing. They're trying to get her to breathe. I feel terrible. I should never have been drinking and driving. She has to make it. I'm praying that she makes it. They've left me alone and now they're working on her. She dies. I can't live with myself now. I can't. I just can't. What happens next? They're taking me to the hospital. I don't care. I don't want to, I don't even want to be there. I don't want them to get me better. I don't deserve it. That little girl lost her life because of me. because I was angry. What happens now, Ted? I'm in the hospital, just sitting, just laying there. I'm just hoping that they give me the wrong medicine and kill me or something. Just get it over with and I don't I don't deserve to have this life now. Those poor parents of that little girl. I cannot forgive myself. What happens next, Ted? I can't get out of my head. There's just all these thoughts in my head. Mm -hmm. And I can't leave the hospital because my leg is broken and they're keeping me there. It's, in, it's up. I'm in traction, I guess. Traction. Mm -hmm. I want to get out. I want to I just want to get out of there. I want you to close that scene now, Ted, and go ahead to another significant scene in that lifetime. Move ahead. What's happening? I'm working on a car. Mm hmm How are you feeling there? Guilty. Mm -hmm. Tell me the circumstances of your life now. I'm alone. <clears throat> I want it that way. 
I need to suffer. I don't deserve to be happy in this life. I took a life. I don't need to be happy. How are you affecting others around you, Ted? Well, they don't want to be around me. Mm -hmm. I'm miserable. So I want you to go to the end of your life now, Ted. Move ahead. Tell me where you are. In bed. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Seventy. Mm -hmm. What thoughts are going through your head about your life? I really messed it up. Mm -hmm. Made some bad choices. Should have been better to my wife and she wouldn't have cheated on me. What else? I'm still so sorry about that little girl that I killed. Mm -hmm. Well, I have something to tell you, Ted, which may surprise you. That little girl didn't die. Only her body died. And now when you go to the other side, you'll be able to see that little girl. How does that make you feel? Better. Mm -hmm. Ted, before you move on and transition from that life, I want you to give me that load that you've been carrying all those years. You can't move on and evolve as a spirit with all of that heavy load. Would you allow me to assist you today and remove that burden from you? Yes. I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Ted, and I want you to give me all of that guilt that you've been carrying for so long, for so many years. Give it all to me. You don't need to carry that any longer. Give me all of that guilt, all of that burden, that heavy load that you've been carrying. Give it to me. Tell me when I have all of it. Remove it from every cell of your body. I'm going to take that tip now and I'm going to give it to the universe. Now, before you transition, what would you like to fill that heart with now that you have so much space? Love. Let's, forgiveness. Let's put lots of love in there. Let's put that love in there first, and I'm going to touch your forehead to seal that in. And let's forgive yourself. Do you forgive yourself for making this mistake? Not knowing any better? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because by forgiving yourself, you allow your spirit to evolve. Give me all of that. Forgive yourself. Seal that. Now I want you to take a breath and tell me how that feels now, Ted. How does that feel? Lighter. Very good. So take your last breath now, Ted. I want you to transition over to the other side. Leave that body behind. And as you do now, tell me what happens. What happens to your spirit? Where do you go? I'm going to the light. Mm -hmm. Tell me who's there. All my family. Mm -hmm. Is there little girls there? Mm -hmm. So I want you to talk to that little girl and ask her why you had that contract together. What were you supposed to learn? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you've learned it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I want you to thank that little girl. I am. I'm hugging her. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
And as you hug that little girl, I want you now to look at the life of Joyce and tell me how you've affected her with this burden that you've carried all this time. <sighs> Ice in her stomach. Mm -hmm. She felt it in, your st in, st in her stomach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What feelings were she, was she getting from your guilt? Oh, terrible stomach aches. Mm -hmm. Pains. Mm -hmm. Did you affect her feet at all? Mm, no. Okay. So now that we've done this beautiful forgiveness exercise in your light as a feather, how do you see this affecting Joyce now? She's, she'll feel better now. Mm-hmm. Very good. Do you have any words of wisdom for Joyce? Yeah, she's got to forgive herself, too. Mm-hmm. Just like I did. All right. So, Joyce, what would you like to tell Ted? I agree. Mm-hmm. So would you like me to take that burden from you now? Yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest and give me all of those things that you need to forgive yourself. All those things. I want you to empty yourself out. There's no need to hold any of that. Tell me when I have it all. Breathe it out. And tell me when I can take it. I'm taking and sending it to the universe for healing. Now, that you've forgiven yourself, what would you like to fill that space with? Joy. Mm, let's fill it with lots of joy. Lots of joy and seal that. Mm -hmm. What else? Peace. Mm -hmm. Let's put lots of peace in there. Anything else? Serenity. Mm-hmm. Confidence. Mm -hmm. Lots of confidence. Anything else? Trust. Mm -hmm. Very good. Are we complete now? Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, Ted, I'd like for you to continue on your journey. May the light of the universe accompany you, you and your family, as they go off in peace. I know that you could have just shown Joyce many different lifetimes. Why did you choose those? What was she trying to learn from those? Mm, she holds everything in and she doesn't forgive herself very easily. Mm-hmm. It's not her fault, though. Mm -hmm. She's always doing the best she can. Mm -hmm. So she needed to see those. Yeah, she needed to see the one about the little girl. Yes. That left too soon. Yes. And the one about about this one that died, that took somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where were these lifetimes? Were they in this country? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. She brought some questions here today. Are you willing to answer some of these questions? Yes. Thank you. What's the purpose of this lifetime? She knows. <laughs> well, I know she knows a lot, but just for the recording, what would you like to tell her? She's here to teach everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, not everybody, but she's here to teach. She's got to learn how to trust herself. Mm -hmm. Is she learning? Yes, she's learning. Mm -hmm. Is she on the right path? She is. Good, good. What planet is she from? She's from Earth. She's from Earth. 
Well, she sometimes has felt that she has had some contact with friends on the other side. She has. Mm -hmm. Has she ever been abducted? Or is this something she was making up? She's not supposed to know. Oh, I see. Okay. So, it's not for her to know. <laughs> well, she said she used to hear... She used to hear things when she was little. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is she not on... on uh, not in the right time for her to know all about it, all this stuff? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Okay. It'll be too much information for her right now to mm -hmm. handle, so... Okay. She, um, she travels, mm -hmm. she, she astral travels, so she goes to different planets and she visits, she visits, uh, interdimensional beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do they tell her? Well, they're helping her with the wisdom that she teaches. She channels them. Mm -hmm. Is this channeling uh, anything to do with her head vibrating? Because she mm -hmm. says she receives, she thinks she's receiving downloads. She is. Mm -hmm. Why does her head have to shake or her brain have to shake? It's to let her know that she's getting the downloads. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it seems to be affecting her. And her sleep. Yeah. She's got to go to bed earlier. Okay. So she's staying up too late? She is. Well, she says that all her life she hasn't had a decent night's sleep. No. Why is that? She can't shut her brain off. Okay. Can you help her with that today? Mm-hmm. All right. So I'd like to ask on her behalf to go ahead and work on her mind today. Okay. So that when she puts her head on the pillow... She'll sleep soundly to the next the next morning. Mm -hmm. You can give her downloads peacefully while she sleeps. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She said she had something happen to her when she was younger with lightning. Not quite sure what it was, but she remembers something black and white, TV, something going up. What happened? I, I can't tell her. Mm. Is this part of the UFO thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it seems to me she was taken somewhere? Yeah. Okay, you just don't want to tell her no. where it was. No, she'll be scared. She will. She afraid of cat? Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I know she was afraid of seeing weird stuff today in this session. Yeah. Is that why you didn't show her any UFO stuff? Yeah. Okay. She doesn't need to see that. She she knows. She knows that. Yeah. <laughs> is she a healer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What modality should she be using? <sighs> well, there's lots of modalities that she could be using. Mm -hmm. It's whatever she feels is right. She needs to just do it. She learned pranic healing, mm -hmm. but she's not practicing it. No, it's not for her. Okay. What about this, uh, this hypnosis? Is that something she could use? Yes. Mm -hmm. So would you recommend that she take a class on doing that? Yeah, I think she should try it. Okay. I really do. I think that she would be good at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's really drawn to it. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask for Dolores Cannon to help her with this. Yeah, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Could we could we connect with her today? Maybe get some words from her. Does she have anything to tell Joyce today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Joyce is considering taking a class in QHHT. 
Yes. And we were talking about it, how I recommend that she do the class exactly mm -hmm. as taught, and then she can move on from there. What, would, what suggestions would you like to give her today? She needs to study. She needs to read the books. Mm -hmm. Your books? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyone in particular? All of them. <laughs> That's a lot of books. Every one of them. She needs to do that first. Mm -hmm. Then she'll know whether she should be doing it or not. She's okay. got to figure this out on her own. Mm -hmm. But she would be good at it. Good. She'd be good at it. Now, she's uh, her higher self has confirmed that she's a little fraidy cat when it comes to UFO stuff. And I know that your books are full of ET information. Mm -hmm. She needs to read them. Mm -hmm. Would this help her? Yes. Okay, so she wouldn't be so afraid. No, she... she's not going to be afraid of my books. <laughs> no. Nope. There's no fear in there. No, there isn't. No. Any other suggestions that you have for her or anybody else? We need to get ready for this new earth. Mm -hmm. How do we prepare? You have to listen to your intuition. Mm -hmm. Everybody's different. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own journey, their own path that they need to be following. Mm -hmm. And the consciousness is splitting right now. As we speak, mm -hmm. it's dividing. It has to divide. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Is this what is known as the harvest? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how do they determine which ones go on the new earth? Their conscious level. Mm -hmm. How do you prepare for that? Again, listen to your intuition and do what you're supposed to be doing. You should be eating healthy foods. Mm -hmm. Foods grown from orga organic foods should be eaten right now. Mm -hmm. Um, no chemicals, mm -hmm. no pesticides. It's all about taking care of your inner body. And in turn, you'll, how the body will be taken care of as well. Mm -hmm. Well, Joyce had a question about why she can't lose weight. Does this have anything to do with it? Her metabolism is really slow. Mm -hmm. She needs to look at her thyroid. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can ask the higher self to work on that also? Yes. yes. Very good. Very good. Is there anything else that you want to tell us today? I know that Joyce is a really good channel for you. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing a great job. You're doing a good service. That's the plan. Yes, you're doing awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for carrying on my work. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of us that are carrying. Yes. The baton. <laughs> yes. Very busy little bees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all want to wake everybody up. You're doing a great job. They need to be awakened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joyce is awakened. Very good. Yes. She's part of the clan. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you have any words for others who are in the process of awakening? Besides reading your books? Hang in there. It's going to get a little rough. Mm -hmm. In what way? Uh, there's going to be lots of chaos. Mm -hmm. It's already begun. Mm -hmm. But trust, there's, this is an illusion. Mm -hmm. This is an illusion. Don't believe the illusion. How do we stay grounded when all of this chaos is going around us? Separate yourselves from the ones that are toxic. Mm -hmm. Get back to nature. Take salt baths. <laughs> we had talked about that already. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> salt baths are wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's my Sunday ritual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, and lavender. Mm -hmm. So that's a good a good way to ground yourself again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very important to, to uh, make sure you do the salt baths. Mm -hmm. 
It releases all the negative energy, dissolves the negative energy that we're absorbing right now. Mm -hmm. Because it's coming from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Don't eat meat. No meat. Any kind? Whatsoever? Or anything in particular to stay away from? Stay away from beef. Mm -hmm. Stay away from pork. If you have to eat meat, you can have chicken, but not lots, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be getting away from all of that. We won't need any of that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's going to lower your vibration if you, if you consume these meats. So it's best not to. Mm -hmm. Dolores, how long is it taking for us to transition into this this new earth? Is it slower than you expected? Or is it on target? I believe it's on target. Mm -hmm. Is it in our lifetime? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes. 2018 is going to be a very interesting time. Mm-hmm. What's happening there? For everybody. Just changes? Oh, lots of changes. Mm -hmm. Lots of transition. But there are, there are beings that are here and they're helping us with this transition. Can we see these beings? If you want to. <laughs> Just ask? Just ask. Okay. Kimmy sees them. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. But Joyce doesn't. She's afraid. She's afraid. She doesn't want to see them. Mm -hmm. If she's not afraid, she will see them. Okay. So we can ask her higher self to work on her. Mm -hmm. What else would you recommend that we work on, Joyce, today? What can you see from your perspective? Mm. You're the expert at this. <laughs> yeah. She needs to meditate more. Mm. Mm-hmm. We were talking about that when we started. Neither of us do much meditation. Yes, you do too. <laughs> but you know that. Yeah, that's why I use my bath. Mm -hmm. That's your meditation. It is. This is your meditation. It is. Mm -hmm. It works really well. Yes. <laughs> Most people don't know how goofy I really am. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Goofy's okay. Yeah. Except We're all a little goofy. Except when you're in a trance and doing a past life regression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Anything else that you would like to tell her? She's on the right path. Mm -hmm. Good. She needs to learn to trust herself. That's all. Okay. Okay. But she's doing a good job and she really needs to get all of my books and read them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. And she will decide then whether she wants to do this or not. Good. Anything else? Any other words of wisdom for the world? Like I said, hang in there. It's going to get a little rough. But we're doing, we're doing what we can at the conscious level that we're at. Yeah. Yes. And like I said, it's dividing. The conscious, consciousness is dividing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are any of the Nostradamus uh, predictions part of this? I know that in your books with Nostradamus, there was some rough stuff going on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Has any of that changed with the consciousness? It can. Mm, good. It can. But there is, there are things that need to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, there are things that need to happen so that it can shift. Okay. But it is possible. We've just got to raise our consciousness. Okay. We've just got to do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Well, we just have to keep spreading the word. Get yes. more and more of these practitioners. Yes, dear. Mm-hmm. Very good. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So as we disconnect from Dolores, thank you very much. May the light of the universe always guide you and help us guide, guide us. Thank you, dear. Mm-hmm.
Let me speak with the higher self again. Yes. Thank you. That was a treat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's loud. <laughs> she sure is. She got me laughing. She's again. she's bold. Mm -hmm. I love her energy. Mm -hmm. She is. She has questions she about uh, her career. Mm -hmm. Should she be getting an education on another subject? If she wants to. Okay. Anyone in particular? You have no therapy. Okay. <laughs> so we already talked to Dolores about that. Yes. All right. Good. And what other superpowers does she have? Uh, she's very intuitive. She's she's also very telepathic. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Well, she'd have more superpowers if she trusted them. Okay. So just trust in the process? She's trust in the process. She astral travels. She can control herself in her dreams. She's mm -hmm. lucid dreaming. Good. Well, yes. She, she's doing a great job today in hypnosis, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of her. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't think she was going to be able to do this. No, nobody does. Yeah. <laughs> she's doing a great job. Yeah. Should she, she, keep, she keep making jewelry? Yes. Why not? She has fun at it, right? That's her Zen. Uh-huh. That's her meditation. Yes. She needs to keep doing it. And people feel that energy when they buy the jewelry. Mm -hmm. Well, there's one particular piece, the mermaid. Mm -hmm. Who's that one for? She doesn't know yet. Okay. So she's got to keep mm -hmm. keep searching. She's trying to find the owner of that piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she, she hasn't she, found the owner yet. She shot out to me today to see if... Mm -hmm. You should see it. Okay. Yeah. See if I resonate mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. All right. So we want to make sure that uh, anybody who's looking for good jewelry would check out the, the Luna Bendita jewelry. Mm -hmm. and she'll get some, some hits on that. Yes, she can go on her Facebook page, and mm -hmm. that's the best way to find her. Mm -hmm. Good, mm -hmm. good. And um, she says that some... The psychics have all, all all told her that she's got a direct connection to the universal. Bank. She sure does. <laughs> but she wants to make more money, and she wants to save more money. Mm -hmm. She seems to be giving it away. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. She'll always have mm -hmm. money. She doesn't have to worry about it. Good. So that's not even a Nope, question. that's not even an issue. Okay. Very mm -mm. good. Very good. Yeah. We, we um, kind of observed when we first started out that she had crossed her arms when she sleeps. Mm -hmm. Why does she do that? She picked that up from past life. Okay. Was that the first one that we were talking yes. about? Yes. Okay. So um, does she feel comfortable with that, or is that something that's going to go away now that she knows that? I think it's going to go away now. Okay. Terrific. We don't have to worry about about that anymore no because she, when she sleeps she feels like she has to be secure mm -hmm. and so she puts her arms around over her chest and she puts pillows all around her mm -hmm. and uh, she has to have a heavy blanket on her as well good mm -hmm. so now we know that it's it was that lifetime that she died that yeah she, she yeah very good she hadn't let it go okay so today we've we've let that go yep Good. Would you do a body scan on her mm -hmm. to see what we have there? Her heart. Her heart. What's going on there? She needs healing there. All right. Would you would you do some healing on her? Mm -hmm. Very good. And while you're doing that, I'd like to call my my archangels in to help also mm -hmm. in whatever capacity mm -hmm. they do whatever they do and tell me when you're done with her heart and let, let her know what she you're doing with it so that she knows we're expanding it mm -hmm. what we're taking the blockages out the mm -hmm. walls that she's created mm -hmm. from her past mm -hmm. yes good she has been hurt a lot in mm -hmm. this lifetime yes yeah so let's unblock that heart mm-hmm and as you're working on that heart, can what does it look like? What has she put around that heart? 
<laughs> blockade, mm -hmm. big stockade fence. Mm -hmm. It's kind of there, but you can you can see through it, but you still can't get over it. Mm -hmm. So can we chisel that that down? Today? Yes. Yeah. Break those walls down. I'd like Joyce to help with that too. Okay. You want to clear that heart out and get some energy in there, some healing energy. I'm putting green light there. Beautiful. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you're done with that. Mm -hmm. What else have you found in that scan? Her throat. What's going on there? Mm -hmm. I see black there. Mm. What's happening there? What's causing that? Not being able to speak her voice, her mm. truth. Mm -hmm. People feeling like people were judging her. Okay. Did she create that? That blockage? Yes, she did. All right. She allowed it. Okay. Does that blockage have a voice? Yep. Mm -hmm. Would you allow, would the light allow me to connect with that voice today? Yep. All right, very good. So I'm going to put my hand over your throat here and bring up that energy. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and express yourself. Good evening. Mm-hmm. How long have you been there with Joyce? All her life. All her life. Tell me how it is that you came about Joyce. Have you always been there, or did you find her when she was little? I found her when she was little. Mm -hmm. What was going on in her life? What allowed you to connect with her? She wasn't allowed to talk about how she felt. Mm. In her family, you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of, you know, went in there and just kind of stayed. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Black. Your name is Black? Mm -hmm. So Black, tell me about the circumstances of your life. How did you lose your body? You know what? I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. So let's go back there so I can help you. Would you allow me mm -hmm. to help you today? I want you to go travel back No, I don't time. want to. Wait, I don't want to. Why? Does it hurt? I, I just don't want to do that. Tell me why, Black. I want to help you today. And the only way to do that is to find out what happened to you. That's the only way. I'll be with you. Could you trust me? I'll be right there with you. Okay. All right. So let's travel back into that lifetime when you had a body. Mm-hmm. And tell me what were the circumstances in your life? Where are you? I'm on the floor playing with toys. Mm-hmm. Are you a little boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. What year is this? 1935. Mm -hmm. And what did they call you there? Jack. Jack. How old are you, Jack? Five. Five. So tell me your circumstances. Are you a happy boy? No. What's going on? My parents. Mm -hmm. They going? yell and scream all the time. Okay. Do they do anything to you? Mm hmm. What do they do to you? I get beaten a lot. Mm hmm. All right, Jack, so let's travel and see what happens in that lifetime. How did you lose your life? I don't know why I can't remember. Mm -hmm. You're blocking it out, Jack. 
Let's find out how you lost your life. I'm right here with you. It's nothing to be afraid of. My dad choked me. Your dad choked you? Mm-hmm. How old were you there? Seven. Seven. All right. So, Jack, now that you see how your dad, that your dad choked you, mm-hmm. what happened after you? You transitioned out of that little body. I didn't know where to go. Okay. Is that how you found Joyce? Yeah. Okay. Now, Jack, the only way for you to evolve as a spirit is to fill yourself with love and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive your father for trying to end your life now knowing that you couldn't die anyway? Can you forgive him for that? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand on your chest. Give me all of that pain that you felt for so long. Knowing that that injustice that was done to you. Mm -hmm. Give that all to me. Tell me when I have it all. Okay. Let me take that away. Now, Jack, what would you like to fill yourself with? Security. Mm -hmm. Let's put lots of security in there. Protection. Mm -hmm. Lots of protection. Love. Let's put a fire hose of love in there. Fill yourself up with that beautiful light of love. Feel it going into every bit of your essence. And seal that. How do you feel now, Jack? I feel good. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that by choking you, you've attached to her neck and have caused her some blockage there, too. Mm -hmm. Would you do me a favor and remove that blockage? Okay. And Joyce, tell me what that looks like from inside. Goopy. All right. So I want, Jack, I want you to absorb all of that. Take like a vacuum and absorb all of that. Remove all of that gooky stuff from her throat. And now I'm going to ask my angels of the light to come in and help you. And encircle you. John, can you forgive yourself for doing this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now, Joyce, what would you like to tell Jack before he goes? I forgive you. Very good. And take a look at your throat and see what it looks like now. It's all clear. Very good. So I'm going to ask my angels to accompany Jack to the light. And Archangel Michael is standing by. Take his hand, Jack. No little boy should go by himself. And I want you to go to the light and tell me who's there waiting for you. My grandparents. Mm Mm-hmm. My sister. Mm hmm. Very good. So give him a big hug. I am. Mm hmm. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Always. Mm hmm. And I'd like my archangels now to seal that area with light from the divine. Seal that area. Fill it. And let me speak with the higher self again. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for allowing that. Can you see anything else in her body that needs taking care of today? Her feet. What's going on with her feet? She doesn't take care of them. Mm -hmm. In what way? Um, She doesn't wear the proper shoes. Mm -hmm. She needs a little bit more support? She needs more support in her shoes. Okay. Would you start working on her feet now so that we can start the... I already started. They're very, tingling. Very good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Can you tell her why she can't lose weight right now? She says she's at the heaviest that she's ever been. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, she's getting older. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be... She's not going to be skinny mini. Mm-hmm. You know, she's got to um, she's got to realize that she's getting older and it's okay. Mm-hmm. 
She just has to love herself and accept herself for who she is and stop trying to change that. She doesn't need to lose weight. Okay. She looks great to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, why is it that uh, that she hasn't been able to, to sleep well ever since she was born? We had talked about it a little bit. Can you give her more information on that? Yeah, she just needs to learn how to quiet her mind. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, she's got a lot of chatter going on, and she also feels everything. Mm -hmm. She feels all the energies of the earth, all the world. Mm -hmm. And she feels it at such a deep level that it keeps her from sleeping. Okay. But she's an empath. Mm -hmm. But we need her to sleep. Yes. Mm -hmm. How much sleep should she be getting? Well, she doesn't need as much as she thinks she does. Yeah. Yeah. She, mm -hmm. when she wakes up at 1230, mm -hmm. she could get up. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to go back to sleep because she feels well rested and yeah. she just goes back to sleep, but she should just get up. <laughs> what is causing the changes in the sleeping patterns right now? Everybody who talks to me seems to be having... Well, we're getting ready. We're getting mm -hmm. used to the Earth's frequencies. Mm -hmm. They're changing, and we have to. We have to do the same. Okay. Or we will not exist. Mm -hmm. So that's less sleep. Yes, we don't need as much sleep as we thought. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes you do need more sleep. Yes. You have to listen to your body and also be in the rhythm of nature. Okay. Yes, All it's right. really important to be in the rhythm of nature. So just listen to your body. Listen to your body. Definitely listen to your body. If Just because the clock says it's mm -hmm. time to go to sleep, <laughs> that doesn't mean you have to go to sleep. Yeah, that's that seems to be my, my life right now. <laughs> I look at the clock and it's 3 o'clock in the morning and I have to get up at 7. Yeah. And I feel rested when I get up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same thing happens to her. She wakes yeah. up at these odd times and she's like wide awake. Well, she could get up and do something if she mm -hmm. wants to. She doesn't have to go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. So for those people who are wondering why their sleep patterns are mm -hmm. chaotic, it's okay. It's okay. They don't have to take a pill for it. No, no pills are needed. Just really, we need to, we need to connect to spirit more mm -hmm. and, you know, find meditation time ourselves and I think that once we do that our our um, our clocks are going to reset okay good yeah good is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't ask during this this session that you would like to tell Joyce now no but she just not that you need to ask it just that she just needs to know how wonderful she is mm -hmm. She's a beautiful person, mm -hmm. and she doesn't even see that. Is there anybody who's helping her? See that? Mm. Kimmy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's a good mirror to her. Oh, yes. Yes. She's the one that lifts her up and encourages her, and her boyfriend does too. Very good. He's amazing. He's so supportive, and he shows her how beautiful she is, and he tells her... Mm -hmm. She needs to have that. Good. Yeah. Good. So would you do uh, one final scan of her body? Mm -hmm. See if there's anything going on with her aura or her chakra chakras before we go that we need to adjust? She has uh, some blockages in her solar plexus mm -hmm. and her root chakra. Right. Would you work on that while mm -hmm. she sleeps? Yes. Very good. Anything else that we need to take care of today, or do you think we're complete? I think we're complete. I think you did a wonderful job. Thank you. So did you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I'd like to thank the higher self for for all of the assistance it's given Joyce mm -hmm. here today. Mm -hmm. I know she's going to really appreciate it. So Joyce, I'd like you to go back to that beautiful place on that mountain that you love so much. Find yourself in that place, feeling that breeze. Encapsulate yourself back in that beautiful golden bubble. And as you do, feel yourself being bathed by that golden light, clearing you, rejuvenating you. And as you see this light, feel 
all of the energy coming back to you. And while you enjoy that beautiful sensation, I'm going to count from one to five. And with each number, you'll be waking up more and more. And when I get to five, you'll open your eyes and wake up with complete control of your body and your mind. Very happy about this experience. The happiest woman of the universe. Five, wide awake now. Wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. Wow. Welcome back. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh my gosh. Wow. You did great. <laughs> what do you remember? I think I remember everything. Mm -hmm. um, Dolores Cannon came through. That was great. Yeah, she's bold. <laughs> She's strong. The, yes, she's a very like she took over everything. Like mm -hmm. she decided what was going to be said, and yeah, it was she's an no. amazing energy. No editing there. No, no. Um, Had me laughing. Yeah. It. Um. Wow. What about the jack on your neck, in your throat? Yeah, I didn't know that was there. Interesting, huh? Yeah, little boy. Little boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw the like the black goop. Yeah. And it makes so much sense because um, when I was married, I never felt like I could speak my truth because mm -hmm. he was so mean and mm -hmm. so um, emotionally uh, mm -hmm. abusive. Yeah. Verbally abusive. So I just felt like I couldn't speak my truth and I would lose my voice a lot, all the time, in yeah. fact. Yeah. So that makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad that that's cleared. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels good. Mm -hmm. How yeah. long do you feel that you were on this journey? I don't know. Maybe like... How did it feel? It felt like a long time. It's an hour and about 40 minutes. That's it? <laughs> Wow. You felt like a what? Two hours? Ago? I felt like it was a long time. Mm -hmm. Like I was here all night long. <laughs> yeah. Well, some people feel it's quick and some people feel it's longer. No, I felt like it was definitely. Yeah. You, you did a lot. You went. We went through a lot of lives. And that could be it. That you were actually being there. Yeah. I felt every single one of them. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? Heavy. Like mm -hmm. there was a lot of heaviness and mm -hmm. um, a lot of them. Like it felt like. Like I could feel their the pain, their pain, their body, mm -hmm. um, in my body. Yeah. Um, and we we released some energy from from one of them. Yeah. How did that feel? It made me feel lighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Well, we went back to that past life to do some therapy on him. Yeah. Yeah. And I because it it seemed that that was a huge huge burden that he was carrying from hitting that little girl and killing her oh yeah mm -hmm. and once he realized he killed her body but he didn't kill her soul he was able to see her yeah again. he that really like he mm -hmm. felt so much guilt and so much shame yeah but they had a contract they did mm -hmm. they that was they're playing their roles exactly <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it wild how we find things out that yeah you know, even though that she was really here to teach him something it was supposed to be like that yes Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I look at things so differently now. I see things as we all have these roles that we that we signed we signed up for yeah. to play, and you know, and we may not see the bigger picture of the play, mm -hmm. but we still have to play that role. Oh yeah, yeah. For some some reason, we yeah. chose it. Yeah. So what do you think? That was awesome. You recommend this to others? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I think everybody should do this. <laughs> and is this something that you want to share? I thought it was awesome. Yeah, sure. You could cut out some personal stuff. Sure. I don't know if it was... Yeah. We'll, we'll have to we'll see. Talk. We'll talk. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. But, you know, sometimes you want to keep some stuff personal. I may not remember everything. Uh -huh. I know you won't. As you, as you start, like, kind of waking up from this, yeah. it starts to fade just like a dream. So... There are times when you wake up and you go, oh, I remember everything. And then later we start looking at the video and go, oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, that would be cool. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. Cool. So how did the selenite work for you? Awesome. Did you feel anything? Yeah. 
Yeah, what would you feel? Uh, Everybody feels different things. I feel like tinglies, mm-hmm. tinglies. Mm-hmm. I love snow night. Yeah, I, I get the tingly feelings too. Some yeah. people get it, feel it cold. Some other feel... No, warm. Warm. Lots of warmth. Yeah. And very tingly. Yeah, I feel tingly all the time. I always feel like whenever I put the seal night in my hands. So I'm going to take the seal night from you, and I'm going to give you now to hold some shungite to ground you. So you can, while you're sitting there, you can get you grounded. Yes, I must be grounded. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Some people float out of here. I know, I do feel high. (laughs) I do. (laughs) Yeah, when people, when my clients leave, I, I'm usually up on the roof somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> I, have to, I, have to, I have to ground myself, too. Yes. That's why I use the Shungite, too, to ground myself afterwards. It's pretty good. What feelings are you getting from it? I feel connected to Earth. Good. Yeah, I feel like I my roots go down into mm-hmm. the core. I feel very grounded. I feel heavier now. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel heavy when I woke up, I was like, "Woo!" Those those stones are amazing, and I know that you've worked with them mm-hmm. um, before. So. Yeah, um, I've never seen them like this. Well, those are in the same place that uh, that you'll be going to tomorrow. Wow! At Collie Square, Sacred Rock Stars. Mm-hmm. So they have those a little pricey, but they're worth it. Yeah, I bet they're expensive because <laughs> Shungai's not cheap. No, it's not, but it's really have, good. I good have stuff. One that I use for water, and it's about that big. And mm-hmm. I think it, I I think I paid like twelve dollars for it. Yeah, those are pricey, but yeah. boy, they're good. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So let me disconnect you here. Oops, I was crying. I know I was crying. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So here we had another great session. Mm-hmm. And um, tell them where you're from. Orlando, Florida. Okay, and we had talked about your Facebook page, your jewelry, mm-hmm. beautiful jewelry that you make. Mm-hmm. So tell the uh, viewers where you can find some of this jewelry. You can find me at uh, lunabendita.storeenvy.com, um, and you can also find me uh, Luna Bendita Jewelry on Facebook, and I like to make a lot of intuitive pieces. Yeah, yeah. So everything's blessed and healed. <laughs> Excellent. So here we are in Miami, Florida. And if you would like a session, just go to my website, albaweinman.com, and uh, book it soon. Yep. (laughs) All right. Well, (laughs) see you until the next one. (laughs) Bye. Bye. It was good. Oh, that was awesome. awesome. Thank you. I have that book. Which one? The Anatomy book. Isn't that great? Yes. I love that book. I love that book. Thank you.